Hey YouTube, we're going to try something different today. Um, instead of just me going through and making a remake and uploading it onto YouTube, um, I keep getting a ton of questions on how did I do a couple things and uh, it's kind of getting overwhelming to answer everybody's questions so instead of me just uploading a video I'm gonna make a, several parts of videos showing how I actually make a remake so you'll just see me through all of the boring steps of making a remake and um, you'll see me dealing with samples, tempo, uh, the mixer, mixing, mastering, everything. Um, so on this song we're gonna do Taylor Gang, um, which is a Wiz Khalifa song. Uh, I downloaded an FLP off of this guy on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description showing um, like who it is and you can check out his channel and sub his channel. Um, I'm not gonna use like anything that he's done I'm not using the FLP I'm just using the sounds that were associated with it um, and so yeah um, at the end of the you know however many parts this is gonna take because I'm gonna deal with the sample part the kicks claps hats everything I'm gonna show you everything I do and then at the end of that when I'm done showing you all the parts I'm gonna actually have the video of uh, the actual song posted up also. So the first step is to get the sample part and so in the FOP that I got he had this little part and it just does that over and over again but it doesn't change pitch sorry about that it doesn't change pitch or anything so I'm gonna have to show you guys how to resample the sound in order to get the pitch correct if that makes any sense if not you'll see in a second so first off I'm gonna delete these sounds right here because we're not gonna use them so there's that and then we're gonna need two Taylor gangs because uh, one of them's going to be in C and the other one's going to be in D. We're going to have to re-pitch it so that um, it sounds like it's changing sounds. So, Alright, so we have two. Next step, I always do this, split by channel. Alright. So now I just split channels. So pattern one is going to be just this first one. change the tempo. The tempo is 71 or 142 depending on how you do it. I do everything at 70, 71, 72. Most people stay at 140, 141, 142. It doesn't matter. So you can tell that it's still in time but it's way slower. So how we fix that is we click here and then this little menu pops up right here and then right here where it says time drag that down click auto scroll down to resample and press A see it just plays the same thing over and over again all right and then we're going to scroll up here to pattern two and I'm going to show you it's going to do the same exact thing so all right so then you press here time down auto resample So how we change that pitch, under here under time stretching, under SMP, you're going to see pitch. So we're going to move this up 
and I haven't made it yet so I don't know how far up it's gonna go but we're gonna go to this first dot right here and see what that sounds like oh resample oops no I wasn't supposed to press resample okay so move this up and when you move it up, this is going to change to auto. Keep it on auto because you, if you click resample, then it's going to stay in C. That's too high, so we're going to move it down a little bit. sounds pretty close to me um, we're not gonna know until we get all the sounds and especially when the bass comes in if you get any uh, weird frequency noises then you know that one of your sounds is a little bit off so we won't know that for a little bit either that or I can go and examine the actual song for five minutes to figure it out but we'll keep it there it sounds really close to me so for pattern one is going to be the first one and then pattern two is the second one all right and also I do know that the length of the song is about four minutes and 55 seconds so we're going to go on and uh, and throw this in for about that long so right now we're on pattern one throwing this in <clears throat> oops too far all right and then pattern two song another thing this song is going to be pretty easy because there's not any uh, stopping points or anything through the whole song I mean I'm sure the kick um, changes up like five times and the snare changes up a few times but um, there's no parts that you have to go through and cut or anything like that so this song is going to be a pretty good example um, so stay tuned to the next part um, the next part I'll do the bass the bass line for you guys so it's still gonna sound a little dry though because you're not gonna have all the hats and triangles and everything accenting it but uh, we'll get there so just stay tuned and subscribe um, also if you want any sounds in this part or any other part just let me know in a comment on that specific video that way I know what sound you're talking about because we're dealing with multiple hats and multiple sounds so say like on this part you want the sample part I know what part to give you so uh, you know just subscribe share it if you really like it um, part two is coming here in about 15 minutes so uh, just stay tuned I should have this whole song done in you know 24 hours at the max so I'm going to try to get it all done tonight, though. Uh, thank you. Bye.